In this video, I'm going to be talking about the lock settings and how you can lock down a coupon by requiring them to like a Facebook page that you have or share a link. Um, so what you can do here, so in the lock settings, you have uh, the settings you can enable or disable it. So I'm going to enable it. And there's three parts to this. It's pretty simple. You got the pop-up title, um, which ap appears on top of the pop-up. And then here's the page content or the pop-up body comp content. You can have this anything that you want. Um, and there's also the Facebook URL that you want them to like. Um, so I have an example here that I just entered in. Um, this is a full Facebook page URL to that page. Um, this will make them become a fan one and then reveal the coupon. Um, so if I go up to here and view the mobile coupon, as you can see, it shows the, the logo and then also this pop-up right here. Um, this is a bit displayed a bit odd because it's not a, a mobile device or not a mobile screen. Um, this would show up perfectly under the logo. In another video, I'll show you what this looks like on an actual phone. But basically from here, as you can see that the content of the coupon has actually disappeared and not uh, visible. So what you can do is you hit like, and you become a fan, and then they, uh, the coupon is now visible. If they rent to go and scan the QR code again, um, it shows it. Uh, the coupon because it's a uh, it's a cookie system so that's how the mobile uh, one works uh, the, the mobile lock settings work the desktop one is a slightly different so I'm gonna click on desktop coupon so basically how this one works is a bit different because um, it doesn't actually hide the content here but it does hide the coupon code so if you have the code visible uh, if you have the code or if you're using the code in this coupon um, it will say hidden and once you become a fan it will now show the code um, as you can see that's pretty cool um, what it's doing right now it's becoming I'm basically when I'm clicking on that and basically becoming a fan of that uh, of that page uh, and Facebook so you can build your fan pages if you wanted to have the same kind of feature where when I click on like I'm sharing this link so it has the headline and the copy and then the image you can do the same thing by copying and pasting the actual link to uh, this coupon at the up at the top here. Copying and pasting this into this area right here where it says face, Facebook uh, page URL. You can paste it, copy that in here, and then all the settings that you put in the share settings right here, these three different things will show up um, when they like uh, to reveal the coupon. But we suggest um, that we suggest that you tell your clients to actually have it where it's a Facebook page to their business. Um, right here so that way they they become a fan to unlock the uh, coupon and then once they see the coupon right here then they can share this coupon right here and then that gets them to post it on their wall essentially and even in their feed can see it so that basically you're getting them as a fan that you can communicate with them later and then you're also getting them to share a link or and then also with Twitter and stuff like that so we, you, you can have it so you can share the link the coupon itself to, to reveal it or you can just have them become a fan um, it works in those two different ways in the next video, I'm going to be talking about uh, how to reset uh, a campaign and delete campaigns. And then I'm also going to be creating a video on showing you this, what it looks like on a mobile device.